You know, I never thought I would say this, but there actually is one good thing about not having any viewers. And that is that scheduling does not matter. I basically had to take like a week off, week plus actually, of even playing the game, which kind of sucks. But I kind of want to show future viewers and especially future me why that is, because it's pretty hilarious. We are now officially a chicken hospital. Say hi to Aragorn. Who, by the way, is it not actually a male, it's a female. We now know, but when we got them, we thought it was a male. So he's, she is called Aragorn, and the rooster is called Arwen. There's a bit of a theme, because up there somewhere is Gandalf hiding, who's also a female cat. But yeah, this is what I've been doing for the last 10 days or so, taking care of chicken. Which basically means cleaning up poop the entire time. But... Wave, hello! Right gang, welcome back to Chicken Hospital episode... Wait, what? Are we doing FM or are we doing chicken? Hmm. Well, for this one we're definitely... It's chicken inspired. Definitely going to call it something with chicken as well. Show the picture of <clears throat> Aragorn doing, well, doing what she does best, which is basically poop everywhere. And she is luckily a Spurs fan. I kind of love it because as you'll see, like it's right on the edge. She made a tiny, tiny, tiny poo, but she didn't actually poo the nice Spurs logo. So I can take that. I think we can all like, get on board with what that means. She hates gooners. And for good reason, by the way, because transfer window was not quite over. And show the next picture. Damn right, you guessed it. Something happened with Arsenal again. PK randomly decided that he was like having none of it and he wanted to leave. So, oh well, had to find him a new club. And who do you think was in for him? Arsenal. And yes, they managed to fuck it up again. Again, so let's us see where is good old PK now. Whoa, that's definitely not how you spell PK. Gerard PK is in Juventus, and he was sold for a whopping 3.7 million. Oh, at least it goes to 4.2, perhaps. I even had to pay what was it like 2.4 of the million in buyout. He was like whining, saying, "I want money." I tried first time. I tried declining that, but. Only Juventus were apparently interested in, so I kind of didn't have a choice. Which I think, by the way, is stupid. He's the one who wanted to leave. He was forcing me to sell him, and then he still wants a buyout to be able to leave. I mean, what's the logic behind that? I guess he feels wrongful. I don't know. He feels betrayed or something. We did also make two more signings. You can see I kind of wanted to fudge a little bit with Arsenal because... They've been so annoying. So I loaned in Gwendizi. Gwendozi? Probably his name. Um, just a body in the midfield. I, my squad was a bit thin uh, as I started this season. And we had a bit of injuries here and there. And bad form after the is it World Cup or whatever the heck is happening in the summer. Um, so I just needed a few bodies in there. Gwendozi, just, you know, loan signing. Nothing more. He's not going to play unless we absolutely need him. Um, I also bought this geezer, the best wonder kid in the fucking gay. Oh wait, no, that was like what, six years ago. Yeah, I bought Ianacho. Again, just needed a few more bodies. Um, Mbappe was really struggling in the start of the season, so I couldn't play him. And registration was a bit iffy. I didn't have enough players, which usually is a good thing, but just wanted some extra. And he's on 38k a week. I mean. As a emergency backup, he was loving it. It's like, oh, I don't even have to play; I can just sit in the sun. And hmm. so, welcome, Ianacho, the Wonder Boy that was, never was. I don't know. So that leads us into the schedule. We did start off the season a little bit because, well, frankly, wanted to get kicking, get cracking, right? Um, not too bad of a start. I mean, we won eight-one versus Ibar. 6-0 against Granada, which is great. Um, 
all the other games were actually like they were a bit meh to be honest we really didn't play very well and we were often lucky in them or i mean we also drew versus Villarreal. not amazing but away mm, could be worse started off away to sporting in the champions league our group looks like this it is pretty scary united leipzig and sporting did get off to a good start with a win but again that match was also not very good but one of the reasons it wasn't so good is like i said my our players have just been absolutely knackered. I mean, Mbappe is still knackered. Um, Garcia is injured. Moriba is injured. It's been weird. So I had to play Messi up front, um, which meant that actually Trincao has been getting loads of game time so far this season. And he's definitely taken his chance. I mean, eight goals in six matches. He's been a bit of a revelation in the start. So hopefully he'll keep that up until he won't play anymore because, well, that's how it works, isn't it? <laughs> Sad. Right, it is now game time. I had to skip you like a day. I wasn't quite prepared as I thought I was. But let's play Salzburg in the. Wait, no, it's not Salzburg. It's Leipzig. They're pretty much the same, aren't they? In the Champions League, um, we are back to this kind of full strength. But as you can see down here, like there's a lot of tiredness in the squad, which um, it's not really amazing. But I guess that's while well, you have a good squad, right? So today's game will be with Tisegen in goal, Trent, Sudibo, Lenglet, Mendes at the back, Kamavinga, De Jong in front, and then the attacking four is Trincao, Messi, Fatih, and Mbappe. Mbappe is luckily good enough. He was pretty knackered like yesterday in the game, but yeah, apparently he's fresh enough to play, so let's give him a chance. I was gonna, like, Petri is also fresh, but since Trincao is playing so well, I'm gonna put Messi in the number 10 role, and then, yeah, can cow deserve to play. Right, well, it is game time, and uh, I hope you're all doing really well. I certainly am. It's been really fun having to play Chicken Doctor. Um, if you want to watch more of all that stuff, actually, I'll put a link in the, in the YouTube description um, to our other channel. Me and my girlfriend have a homestead channel. Uh, it's more of a vlog channel, really, where you can see all the stuff happening at our little homestead here in Turkey. Anyways, there's a chance. It's Trincao to De Jong. I mean, that was pretty gorgeous, wasn't it? Good thing, uh, good thing I can then leave in my little rant about uh, YouTube there. So go follow that one as well for my all my amazing viewers. Right here. Well, that was <laughs> a pretty good start. Uh, let's see if they want to try as well. Kamavinga. Ooh, that looked uh, a bit scary. But actually, it's a great clear to Mbappe. Is he going to take on the world? Go on, lad. You can do it. Oh, well, kind of. On to Fatty. Is Trincao in there? He's definitely going to score, right? He's on hot form. Ooh, this looks scary. No, no, no. We recycle it to Mendes. <clears throat> Come on, switch to, to the other side. Yes, to Trent. And then... Come on, Trent, do your... Patented crossing. Amazing crosses. Oh, he probably should have scored there, Chinkao. No, eh, good save for the keeper, at least. Okay, we're building another strong attack. Camavinga to Mendes. Mendes has also been really, really good in the beginning. Uh, he's played a lot since Alba is, well, tired. One of the ones that are proper knackered. No, good for Mendes and good for the youngsters. Oh, no, 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 no. Are they going to counter from here? Sapizza to Mukiele and Upamecano. They have some funky names, don't they? Guardiol? Is, that is definitely like the Eastern Euro European... That's definitely like the Eastern European uh, spelling of Guardiola in it. Guardiol. That's pretty funny. Anyways. Oh, Mendes with a great tackle. Yeah, go on, lad. This is shaping up to be quite a... What the heck is going on in there? That was a bit messy, wasn't it? No, it wasn't messy. It was just taken. <laughs> Proper comedy, that is. Olmo, the Barca boy. Maybe we should sign him in. I mean, he's a bit of a old Barca boy. De Jong is just piling forward. Oh, I guess tackled by Nkunku. That's a great name. See, that's Guardiol. That is amazing. I feel like I should sign him. 
just for that name. Mendes catches it, and oh, a nice one too with Mbappe. They're going to cross it. Oh, it's a fat tee. Ooh, with a heel flick on. Chikao! Yeah, he was always going to score. Chikao has just been... Whew. Why do I need strikers when I just have Chikao? Cheers to that and nice Colombian coffee. Right, I definitely just need to see this guy. Oh, he's 19 years old. Actually, not too bad. Is he a bit of a... Ooh! Hang on a minute. <clears throat> he actually looks very, very good. Guardiol. Let's just get a... I like that. Maybe we need a Croatian Guardiola on our side. That would be pretty funky. Turibo is on a yellow card. Should I be worried? Eh, probably not. Trent, are you going to cross it? Go on, lad. Trent. And Chikao. Wow, okay. Heading is not his uh, strongest point, I would say. Omo with the free kick. That is very poor. And Up Upamecano, of all people, scores it. I mean, are we marking there? I guess not. Oh, wait. Actually, I don't even have... Right, it's second half. I just realized I don't have replays on. I mean, no wonder. I almost want to see that one again. There's just no marking whatsoever. Who was it not following him? Lenglet. I mean, the most... What's it even called? What's... How do I... Am I... Are we live? Is this thing on? Right, well, apparently next... Messi has taken a knock, so we shall probably do some changes. Yeah, Messi, Messi is pretty knackered. We're going to do Petri for him, though. Uh, Fatty is actually playing pretty well. Wait, no, he's not. He's playing like crap. So get the pie on for him. Uh, oh, yeah. God damn it. I need to remember now that we are only allowed three subs. Well, I think so, at least. Right? At least in the league, I'm only allowed three subs. Which sucks. And I'm not allowed, like, 12 subs on the bench as well, which sucks even more. I love coronavirus in the game. It's just amazing. But no, seriously, it kind of... It's not a joking matter. This pandemic has really wrecked the world, hasn't it? Mm. Anywho, I was going to do some sort of change. What do I want to change? I don't even know. So... Nah, actually, we will make that one change. What should we do? I mean, we don't really have any options. What if I put the pie up front? Can I then do... Nope, not really. Um, let's just get... The young off, then. Why not? Put Janic in. Wait, was it Janic? Yeah, it was. Whew. God damn it, I can't even remember how to play this damn game now. Not having played in... I don't know, week, 10 days or something. It feels so alien to me. Oh no, are they gonna... Don't be like this. Come on, lads. They've had... Oh, that was an amazing shot, though. But if they had to score, that would have been very bitter. So, 2-1. Final score. I mean, 18 shots, 8 on target. And they only had 1 on target. So, I guess it was a... Uh, Fair result. Maybe we should have scored more, but <clears throat> I don't know. Well done, lads. Very good win. Everyone's inspired and motivated. That is very good. Hopefully they will carry that on to the next game, right? Well struck into the corner from 23 meters. Oh, definitely a highlight. Worth the admission fee, that's for sure. Well done indeed. So we are now... I mean, you could see it there. Is it going to load? Oh, yeah, it is. So we are... Top of our group for now. Oh, well, they haven't played yet. Why haven't they played yet? Is it because of time zones? I don't know. Well, it's going to be a bit of a difficult group to at least finish first in, but I fancy my chances at least to get out. I mean, we should definitely get out, but finishing first, you know, United have a good squad. Is it going to let me click it? Ooh, seems my computer is doing a bit of a lagging here. Oh, yeah, of course, it's... The return of Sergio Busquets and where is he? Anyone else? Am I am I going blind or what? Where's Dembele? Oh, he's all the way down here. 
Usman Dembele. Have they bought anyone exciting? Oh, they bought this geezer. Luyan Dama. He actually looks pretty damn good, doesn't he? Uh, what else? <coughs> Did they? Jordan Vertut. I mean, that's a bit weird. But who will? That's Chung. Oh, they got this guy. Isn't he really good? Binatola. Not really, no. So, United are going back to the... Well, United are continuing their trend of buying weird players. Which, you know, at least they are consistent. Well, that's going to be that for today, though. I just wanted to, for myself at least, like sit down and actually open up the game and open up the camera and all sorts and practice my vocabulary once again. And just wanted to get into the groove of... Uh, now doing some more videos and playing the game so I'm gonna play on and do loads of recordings and then from now on there's gonna be a video hopefully every day uh, if you wanna watch some more then subscribe and like and all them fancy things and like I said in the description below it's gonna be a link to my girlfriend and I's channel where you can follow all the chicken business if that's what you want or you can learn how to build a chicken coop or all sorts of weird things. It's basically a vlog of just everything that happens here in our tiny homestead. It's very, very huge. Anyways, till next time. Ciao!